What is going on everybody? Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video today. One that I don't normally make. Um, see on this channel we like to cover fun things. We like to talk about positive things. And I don't really like getting into YouTube drama. I just, I just don't. But in this instance, this YouTube drama does impact everyone. Now, I want to make something very clear. We are not a big YouTube channel. We're not even a mid-sized YouTube channel. We're a very small YouTube channel. And yes, I do count a channel that has 1,100, uh, you know, subscribers. You know, 1,120, I think, is where we're at right now. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. As a small YouTube channel, um, to some that might seem like a lot, but it's, but it's not. It's, it's. I assure you, it's, it's really not in the big state of things. But uh, I, I don't care who listens to this. I don't care how big this video gets, if it even gets views at all. Um, this is a subject that is very important and probably even more so for smaller creators such as ourselves here on the domain. But um, it's, it's a topic that I've been very interested in, I've been reading about, been watching people such as Rich from Review Tech USA cover, Cody, uh, Camelot, you know, um, Moist Critical covered this as well, and I've also seen a few other mid-sized channels cover. Those channels are, are bigger channels, the ones that I mentioned, but some mid-sized channels cover, you know. And uh, what happened recently sets a, I would say, a pretty dangerous precedent uh, for for YouTube as a whole, and I, I feel that it would just be rather weird to, to just not cover this topic as a YouTube channel, being that I've been putting out more videos here on the domain lately, and I feel this is something that's very, very important to talk about. So uh, first I want to make something very clear. I'm not using any copyrighted material, so I'm not going to show anybody's videos. I'm not going to talk over anybody's videos. I'm not going to do that. It's not because I'm like afraid of getting copyright struck, because let's face it, we're, we're not even a monetized channel. So. I don't care if this video gets demonetized because at the end of the day, we don't make any money off of any of these videos. We have over 78 videos. I think we're actually getting close to 80. So really, I don't really lose anything by posting this video, which is why I feel like I have more of authority to speak on this matter more so than any other content creators do because, well, they do want to make videos that help make them money and they don't want to see their videos get demonetized, copyright struck, etc. So. I am going to show some images on here and go over them, but I'm not going to show any creator's content. So what I'm referring to is the situation going on with Quam TV and the Ackman. If you don't know what's been going on over the course of several months, this has been going on since I believe April. Let me kind of try to give you like the speed run version of you, if you will, of what's been going on. So there's a guy by the name of Quam TV. He has a channel here on YouTube, obviously that he claims to be a master TV calibrator, which I, I, that sounds like um, the most worst made up profession ever, but that's what he calls himself. He reviews TVs, he calibrates TVs, and he posted a video giving his thoughts on Elden Ring, saying the game is trash, saying it looks like shit, saying that people who play that game don't have a family, <laughs> okay? These are the things that he has said. He gave it a very weird review because I guess he played it for a little bit and said it wasn't worth it, said it was too grindy of a game. Well, first off, I mean, if you're if you're a gamer, if you ever played this game, you would know and maybe do a little bit of research when you do the reviews about games like that. You would know that the game is is from from software. They make these games. This is their bread and butter. They created the Souls type uh, genre of game. So you would know if you did any. Even just a little bit of research on Google that we all have access to, you would know that th this is that kind of game. And to say that people don't have a family that play this game, that's absolutely untrue. Now, granted, I haven't finished the game. It, it's difficult. I just, you know, I, I, me personally, I think the game is a great game. And I think that people who enjoy those kind of games have the right to play those kind of games. And who am I to tell people what they can and cannot enjoy, right? So I think it's I think it's I think it is a fun game. It's challenging. It throws me back to the days of NES and, and playing, 
you know, really hard games, right? And it's a hard game. I don't think Quantum TV has ever played really hard games, or I don't even know what how old he is, or if he grew up in the age of the NES, or etc. But that was back when games didn't hold your hand. You didn't get difficulty settings on the majority of the games. They were challenging, and they were meant to be. So, uh, but but it all started with that. And then you had another YouTube channel called Mischief, who uh, who made a reaction video to the uh, the to, to Quantum TV's uh, thing. And Quam TV told Mischief that he was going to come after him because he was not using, he was using uh, Quam TV's content. Now, I'm no lawyer. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I am. I'm not uh, a professional or anything like this. But I do know what fair use is. And I hate to tell you this, Quantum, but fair use is fair use. And as long as somebody is using your content and transforming it in some way, or it's transformative content, and what that means essentially is using clips of your content and commentating on them. I mean, honestly, you know, Ackman said this in his uh, Dark Days of YouTube video, that uh, if, we, if, if we didn't do that, we would just be copyright claiming each other and copyright striking each other because that's the beautiful part about the internet. Everybody has an opinion and they are entitled to it. And they are also entitled to equally use your content and transform it. Hell, someone could use this video right now and turn it into transformative content. And I legally cannot go after them for doing so. Now, it's different in the sense of if the music is licensed and you have it playing in your video, and then if you don't have the, uh, if you haven't paid for the license for music, like I can't just blast, you know, Metallica in this video just because I want to, uh, or even because I might own their CD or own the ability to play it. That doesn't mean I have the legal right to use Metallica's songs or any band for that matter. Uh, that's not considered fair use. Especially if I'm monetizing this video, uh, which I've already prefaced by saying that none of these videos are allowed to be monetized because we haven't hit our monetization goals yet here on YouTube. We can't do that. So fair use is fair use. And Quantum, whether you like it or not, that's just too damn bad. You're just going to have to get over it. And that's probably a hill you don't want to die on. So what happened after that was Mischief, since Mischief is a minor, I believe that they are 15 or 16, at least at the time they were, uh, they just said, look, I don't want a part of this. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna get sued or have anything happen to my channel. So they deleted, they took down their video. That's where the act man steps in and he did his own uh, response to what Quantum TV put out there. And essentially what happened was Quantum TV went up again, went up and um, created a false copyright claim on the Actman's video, in which the Actman actually appealed it. And YouTube, they actually did the right thing. They did the right thing here. They didn't make it get taken down. They didn't force it to be took down. And this is what Quantum TV does. This is what he is notorious for. If you speak up against him, he will try to somehow, in some way, copyright claim you. Well. I'm going to tell you something right now. Good luck to you on doing that here because I'm not using any of your footage from any content creator. And I know there's a lot of great content creators out there that wouldn't try to copyright claim me if I use their footage, such as Camelot, Voice Critical, Review Tech USA, and the list goes on and on. And the Atman wouldn't do that either if I did, if I used his content as well, which I'm not going to. I'm not going to use anybody's content. Just to make a point, is that and so what ended up happening was Adman did that and then he made another video. He made a video calling out all these things that Quant or that Quantum TV has done. And I'm going to go over a few of these and these are some of the things I am going to show here on this video. So follow along with me as we take a look at a few of the offenses that Quantum TV has done. Uh, or just one of the major offenses anyway. It's, it's the major one. I'm not going to go over every single thing that he that he has said <laughs> that he has said and done. Um, but we'll go over this right here. So there was a uh, Twitter of Lucy O'Brien, one of the uh, actors that was involved in The Last of Us Part 2, which dealt with some very heavy LGBTQ uh, things in it in the game. And it's uh, it's uh, Shannon Woodward uh, hugging, um, I forget the actor's name that plays Ellie. 
their inner church. So excuse me for that. And they're hugging. They're they're dancing, right? Quantum TV used to have a Twitter account, and this was back in June of 2018. And he says, "You have LGBT kissing in church, but we're bigots for rejecting this hateful content." Ugh. Why weren't you a pulse victim? Shaking my head. The world would be a better place without you. Boycott. Hashtag boycott. Hashtag the LGBTO of us. I mean, really? Um, that's what he said. He has also made some other disparaging mark remarks as well, which uh, I'll find here in just a second for you. But at the end of the day, he has said some very ridiculous things across the internet. He has made some comments that are very, um, very anti-LGBTQ. And uh, the thing is, he's he's allowed to say things and yet not get held accountable for those things. He even has a secondary YouTube channel, which I'm not going to link here. I'm not going to tell you the name of it, where he has referenced um, Review Tech USA and basically calling him uh, a child predator. And uh, there's a video that has um, Chris Hansen on it that, that's on the, uh, on the thumbnail, which I'm not going to show any of this here because yeah, I'm not going to show any content from another YouTuber on from from the platform itself. I'm not going to do that here. But he is essentially calling Review Tech USA all because he watches Mischief and talked to Mischief, a minor. He considers that, he considers Rich from Review Tech USA Rich as a child predator. Like, what? What kind of crazy take is that? I mean, I just, I don't understand. What happened was Actman made a second video, called out Quantum TV for all these shenanigans over the years that he's made. The ban evasion, because he had a channel previously, um, and that channel got banned, and he ended up making a new channel, calling it something something sort of different, and he has been ban evading, which is also against, <laughs> it's against the terms of service. You guys remember Leafy uh, from like forever ago Leafy is here and he got banned and then he made several other sock channels if you will or whatever to try to come back and those all got banned from the platform so I'm curious YouTube what's the difference here huh what's the what's the difference what's the difference why is quantum allowed to get away with all this bullshit and that's exactly what it is I really don't care at this point it's, it is bullshit. And why is it okay for him to get away with that? I just, I don't know. I don't understand it. So, having said all that, uh, Quantum TV posted this back in, back in uh, March. And this is on his Discord. And you guys are going to see this. And I am going to read this. Uh, word for word. So, here we go. I just want to thank everyone for sticking with me. It's obvious most of these other reviewers like Stop FOMO, Digital Trends, and HGTV Test are just Satanists in disguise. Every time I've seen one of their videos, you can tell they are trying to brainwash the masses into their gay, liberal, satanic, atheist agenda. One minute, someone could be watching Stop the FOMO, and the next minute, they could start having anal sex with their dads, doing coke, and trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic influence isn't a joke. It was obvious already when Stop the FOMO ended up using the Lucifer logo to praise Satan and claimed he was just testing for blooming. God, I hate atheists with their satanic rituals. Every one of these people are going to hell and suffer for eternity. They need an ass kicking from some Christians. Yeah, some Christians. Also, all the troll comments from satanic atheists are getting banned. All the satanic gay atheist people accusing me of being a coward for deleting my video. I only had to delete them because of YouTubers' gay agenda. Instead of, uh, instead of people getting upset at me, why don't they just let me be? Yes, you're right. You're right, Quantum. We should just... Oh, you, on, here on YouTube, we should just allow all the people that hate 
the gays, right? Because because clearly you have an issue with them here, right? I mean, it's, it's very, very blatantly obvious that you have a problem with homosexuals and people of the LGBTQ plus community. That's something that should just be allowed on this platform. That's something that as people are you know, watching and watching content and enjoying content. That's something that should come up in their sub box or not, not their sub box, but their recommended is, is you being allowed to, to do things like this. Now I will say that quantum has not posted a video on YouTube spouting, uh, anti LGBTQ things. As far as I know, anyway, um, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But even so, I mean, YouTube knowing and having been shown this before, time and time again, uh, by the Act Man, Asmund Gold, several other people, th that this is the kind of person that he is, and yet this is acceptable. This this is acceptable. This is what's acceptable. I'm not gonna read the rest of that because I just don't want to get more into the weird shit and, uh, and the um, and the backhanded things that people like him say. You know. Oh, we gotta stay strong. Uh, God loves you. That's that that like when, there are some people, and I'm not gonna get into religion on this channel. We're not gonna go there. But when people say that, it's almost as if they're saying "bless your heart." And if you know what I mean by that, you know exactly what I mean by that. If you know, you know. But that's something he posted back in back in March on his Discord. He has also posted a slew of other things on his Discord about anti-LGBTQ statements. He's even made some racist racist statements from time to time, and also getting his community to go and false uh, flag several YouTubers who make any sort of comments going against him because, for some weird reason, his fan base uh, just thinks he's their like he's like they're, they're like his they're, he's like their messiah or whatever. It's really, really, really crazy. And the reason why I bring this up is we're going to talk about Susan. Uh, Susan. YouTube Susan. The CEO. Yes, I'm going to call her out too on here. I really don't care. Because you have a guy like... You are allowing a guy like this to stay on the platform. Actually, before we get to that, let's talk about what happened to the Act Man. The Act Man ended up actually getting... Uh, he, he made a video called... Uh, he, call, he made a video called uh, The Dark Age of YouTube, okay? The last video that he has made, as far as I know, as of this recording, talking about him getting, uh, you know, him not to... YouTube basically saying that everything that Quantum TV has done is essentially acceptable, and they didn't find any grounds for to take him off the platform, which... Uh, when it comes to a manual review, they have to watch all that stuff. And he's even taken down videos talking about how he gets away with stuff like that. And um, somebody had to watch those videos and manually review them. And they thought that Quantum TV has done nothing wrong. Like, nothing wrong at all. Which makes absolutely no sense because he has. So, the ad man being who he is, uh, he made, uh, I believe, almost an hour-long video. That, that it's, it's out there. You can find it. It's not on his channel anymore because they demonetized it. Uh, not just the video, but they demonetized the Atman's channel. So, yes, he can no longer make any revenue on YouTube anymore. Uh, and what was it for? No, it wasn't for copyright. It wasn't for fair use. It was for nudity and sexual content, which, after watching the video, it was because he put a cucumber in Quantum TV's mouth. That's all he did. <laughs> That's all he did. That's all he did. I just, I cannot wrap my brain around this entire situation because it's absolutely stupid. I, I don't know who's working at YouTube, who is in charge of reviewing these things or making these decisions final, but why? <laughs> okay? But the irony is that Actman got demonetized. He got uh, demonetized from YouTube. He's, he uh, made a uh, he, he put out this tweet which you'll see here uh, he put this out on uh, he put this out yesterday um, yesterday afternoon it says my YouTube partner just reached out to me to inform me that at some point I will be removed from the YouTube partner program and my channel will be completely demonetized I'm going to continue working with my partner on this matter all video plans will be put on hold so he has not made any videos since right so YouTube decides 
to stand with Quam TV, I, which which is absolutely insane. I, I don't know why they would stand with Quantum for being the kind of person that he is. Quantum TV would later, or I'm sorry, uh, Act Member would later uh, post at uh, 5.29 p.m. yesterday, almost 24 hours ago, that uh, he, he shared a screenshot. You guys can see this here. That uh, is, uh, the channel is officially demonetized. So that means he can no longer make any revenue as a YouTuber on his own channel, no matter what. Now, from what I see, it's still under review, but here's the here's the messed up part, okay? We're going to go back to Susan. Remember I was going to talk about Susan. Susan's the, the, the CEO of, of, uh, of YouTube, right? Um, she had the audacity after all this was going, while all this was going on, mind you, yesterday, okay, to post this tweet. And you'll see it here. This month, we're celebrating the ways hashtag pride brings love, light, and hope to the LGBTQ plus community. Learn more about our hashtag YouTube Pride Challenge in support of the Trevor Project, the history of Pride, music playlists, and more. And there's a link you can go to to, to learn how you can engage with YouTube, which is so fucking ironic, uh, about Pride. Like, hello? Uh, are you... What, that is the most tone-deaf thing you could do <laughs> on, on, on YouTube. Is, 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 as, as the CEO, as the highest high up that there is in the company... Are you are you so are you that tone deaf that you would post that while in the middle of this all going on? This was literally out like twenty four hours ago. This was yesterday when when Susan posted this, and it just irks me. As how can you post something so, you know, uh, you, you can't say that you are celebrating pride and and, and supporting to, and trying to give love, light, and hope to the LGBTQ community. When you have an individual that is one of the most outspoken anti-LGBTQ people on the platform that, that there is, and you allow that person to stay on the platform, that doesn't make any sense. And the reason why this sets a dangerous precedent for YouTube is because if a guy like Quantum TV can, can make all these false copyright claims on all these people, and I, and I wouldn't be surprised if that try if they try to do it to this to this video and I really don't care uh, it's not like I make money I'm not, I'm not making money off this video this is free we don't make any money on this YouTube channel we don't all the video content we put out we are trying to get monetized I will say that but this is all these videos all almost 80 of these are, are we don't make money okay and uh, but it but it I can't help but not want to speak out about this because this could happen to a channel like ours. This could happen to channels that are newly partnered, that 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 hit the hit all four goals and got the four thousand watch hour, public watch hours, and etc. And what if they want to make transformative content and they run into a person like Quantum TV who uh, decides to make false copyright claims, which is supposed to be perjury, by the way, according to. YouTube's terms of service, but there has been an update while I've been recording this video, and we'll uh, we'll get to that. So I'm going to show you guys a uh, something that I saw that the at man the at man just posted, and uh, and here it is. So. There's an update, and it's from Team YouTube. And you'll be able to see it here right now. So they responded to the Actman. They said, as discussed, your YouTube partner program suspension followed your now-deleted tweet, threatening to dox the families of YouTube employees and creators. We don't take these decisions lightly and want you to know we're taking your concerns just as seriously. We'll keep working with you directly on this. And you can see there that they highlighted that we made that... Uh, Beyond the content you upload to YouTube, here are some examples of off and or on on an I'm sorry of on and or off platform behavior that we may consider to be inappropriate and result in penalties, in, uh, intending to cause malicious harm to others, participating in abuse or violence, demonstrating cruelty, or participating in fraudulent and or deceptive behavior that leads to real world harm. So you mean to tell me? And by the way, just so everybody knows, I'll show this too. 
the, uh, uh, the, the, the Atman posted the context of what got him uh, demonetized. It's uh, him satirically stating that he is going to create a new YouTube uh, channel called uh, Doxing Adventures with Actman. In it, I'll be doxing and harassing the family members of YouTube employees and other content creators. It's sure to have lots of family fun. Ha ha ha. That was a joke. But YouTube saw it as him being serious. Like, really, you think he's going to do that? So, I just think it's really crazy that he does all this stuff that is not harming anyone. He hasn't harmed anyone. And yet, Quantum TV gets away with all this bullshit. What's up with that, YouTube? Like, what's up with that? Why is it... Why are you doubling down so hard on this? I mean, they say that they take it seriously. How much proof does one person need at this point? I mean, the Actman gave several, several, uh, tons of evidence on the uh, Dark Age of YouTube video, which... It's on YouTube. I'm not going to link it because, you know, that, that's probably a violation. Linking a video that was taken down is probably a violation. I'm not going to do that. But it's out there. Search for it. You'll find it. Definitely watch it. It's worth a watch. But this isn't right. And I do I do stand with Actman on this. I hope that he gets some justice. What was done to him uh, and, and the way in which YouTube handled it sets a very bad precedent for other channels, especially channels like ours that are smaller channels. They don't have a lot of views. We don't really have the power of lawyers and attorneys and things like that to back us up. And then you got bigger channels like Quantum TV that can just say, hey, I'm gonna eat you alive and the hell with your channel. I don't like that you're using my content, even though it's fair use, but I'm gonna make a false copyright claim on you anyway, so too, too fucking bad. That's kind of how this works. Um, so yeah. So, so justice for Eggman, and um, please let me know your thoughts about this whole situation in the comments below. I just wanted to get this off my chest because it's been bothering me. Uh, you know, um, I hate seeing any any minority get put down, and, and when you get to the LGBTQ community, when you tell them that you wish that they died in, in a roundabout way, um, saying it in a very indirect way, and, and, and that's okay. Like that's what's acceptable, and YouTube is okay with that. I mean, it even says here anything on and off the platform. You basically represent YouTube on and off the platform as a partner, and they allow him to still have a channel. Anyway, leave your comments and thoughts on this in the comment section below. We do read those comments. Uh, I'll probably talk more about this with uh, with some of the other content creators on the domain on the next level podcast, which will be coming out next Monday. We're going to talk more about this um, with some of our content creators. I want to hear their thoughts. We'll have a nice little discussion back and forth about this. And um, please, YouTube, make do the right thing. Fix this. Seriously. See you guys.